Testing. Can you hear me? There's some things happening, and some stuff and whatever. Literally my uh, push to talk mouse button has stopped working. Like that's that's the problem. Like just out of the blue, just randomly, my push to talk mouse button no longer works. So how's everybody doing? We're, or, uh, we're gonna play Rise of the Tomb Raider, because I don't know. Test. Yeah! I got it working again. No grizzle or crease stop completely on my own. Some minor work fires. It's okay, I still love you guys. We're loading from spinning rust, so you have to look over it. Wyman Rider and Dark Star. All right, Wyman Rider and Dark Star both sent us stuff, and it's awesome. But since I'm by myself, I'm not going to partake. They're gonna have to wait until Sunday, and then we're gonna unbox the crap. Although I've already sampled some of Wyman Rider's tea, which is pretty good. So take that for what it's worth. Whoops. How's the streaming quality for this? Because it's kind of a, uh, you know, I don't know. It seems like a high bit rate would need to be a thing. I missed the rabbit. Did I open it, though? I opened the top of it. I can see one of the things is a label, but I really didn't dig into it. Yeah, hunting rabbit with a silenced pistol. That's how I roll. Oh, well. Great bucks here. How's it going? Tim, did I miss something? Nope.
Yeah. Microsoft has upgraded functionality Windows Audio Player, what's it called? Now you double drivers are no longer allowed. It's either ASIO or direct sound on an even class compliant drivers. I'm streaming in 1440p. Trying to. Is that not working out for me? <laughs> what happened to Ryan? He's still, uh... He's still growing in the vat. After the incident. <laughs> Grey Monk, I would be better if I could figure out the first thing of Linux. What are you trying to figure out? Like, what, 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 which first thing? By the way, we're hunting deer so that I can fashion new pistol parts for myself, because that's apparently a thing. <laughs> Good morning, Liquid Media Games. How's it going? Hot Cup Cars here. I can't hit rabbits to save my life. Emil says, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I killed Bambi. <laughs> How these poison mushrooms just grow on trees? So handy. Poison mushroom cloud is there's no better way to take out those uh, armored guys. That's weird. I could have sworn that the other one went in here somewhere. Nick54 says, I like the ZFS video. What was the intended original use of the Google appliance? Um, searching? Jobs until further notice says, good job on the last video. Thanks. We put a lot of work in. <laughs> uh, Ruman says, uh, just watch the ZFS serve store video. Let's say he was very impressed. How do you know all that shit? Well, I have a degree in computer science and I've been doing this. Like, I've literally had a job doing technical stuff since I was 13. But, like, not really doing it for real until I was... Uh, I got a pretty good gig from the time I was 17 to the time I was 21. I learned a lot of stuff. Some stuff went wrong with that, but some stuff went right. It ultimately worked out pretty good. And then um, I've been doing the consulting thing for uh, about the last 10 years. So, yeah, a little more than 10 years. Well, probably, yeah, it's yeah, about 10 years. Plus, I also have a team of, like, really awesome people that know what they're doing, and I don't actually have to learn everything. They can just sort of give me the Reader's Digest version, and, uh, 
that helps a lot. So I can gather experience faster than is humanly possible. So, yeah. Horse out robot. <laughs> Brass Monkey is like the first thing in Linux is do not talk about Linux. The second thing in Linux is do not talk about Linux. It's not really like that. I, I think what it is is Linux doesn't get more user friendly because by the time the people that are intending to make Unix user friendly, Linux user friendly, learn why it is the way that it is, they're remiss to change it. <laughs> so it's not that Linux is is not user friendly, it's just picky about who its friends are. Rod P says, hello, hello. Is it just me or does it look better on YouTube than Twitch? I am streaming at the absolute maximum bitrate that Twitch will tolerate. So, eh? YouTube actually these days supports 4K streaming. So I'm streaming at 1440 to YouTube. At a cost of 32.5% CPU on my 4 gigahertz 5960X. Uh, Liquid Media says, when you deal with servers and networking for 10 plus years, you just learn a lot. Yup, can confirm. <laughs> Rod P, it felt like an old X-Files episode. That is exactly what we're, we were going for, the... Uh, the tombs episode of uh, the X Files, where the guy eats liver and like lives in a nest, like he goes into hibernation for fifty years. That is exactly what we did. That is exactly how we did that. Top five advantages of using Linux. It's open source. It's not doing anything weird or shady behind your back. Everything, um, everything works exactly as advertised. Anything that, that doesn't work is usually pretty upfront with you about it doesn't work. Updates aren't going to screw you on Linux generally. Not like the whole Windows, like, oh, we, we broke DHCP. Oops. If that happened with like your Linux distribution, um, there would be a flogging and that would never happen again. Cameron says Dolo Michiolo. I don't understand that. Yeah, Tomb secreted bile or something. No hardware is cut off, no software is cut off as long as there is a user, it's 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 supported. <laughs> yeah, that's a good uh that's a good advantage for Linux. I'm gaming on Windows right now. What do I think about the future of cybersecurity engineers? I'm currently a structural engineer, but it's boring, and I think I'm going to go for change, perhaps. 
anything in the security field, honestly, the sky's the limit, especially if you really understand what's going on under the hood. Although, the best security engineers that I've encountered in my career have been ones that have been a career something else and have gone into security. Like, somebody who reached the absolute maximum plateau of, like, programming or um, systems integration or, like, network integration. And then they made the switch to security. They did really, really well. Because uh, it sometimes it takes that level of knowledge to be able to really understand the nuances of security. <laughs> what is ex what exactly is the plateau of programming notch sort of lets out a fart and uh it just you know and then it's it does stuff uh you have to getting to a point where you understand like the low level binary protocols the protocol on the wire that sort of thing should be good old x tankers here how's it going Um, Snowblind 623 Zoltan, I think that thread about the XPS 15 that had the poor battery life was uh, running a version of Linux that had a kernel that did not have full Skylake advanced power management support. And so what was happening was the CPU was never stepping down to like 800 megahertz, like the ultra low sleep states. That's largely fixed now, but um, it took, God, it took over a year for really good support to happen. The, the power management, like Intel, was like, let's just change everything! And they really didn't do a good job documenting it or making sure that the Linux people were read in on how everything worked. And so the stuff like changing turbo really quickly and dropping down into the ultra-low power C states, none of that stuff worked on Linux for the better part of a year. It's all fine now, but a while ago it was bad. <laughs> Liquid Media's like, I got my first job in communications hardware back in the 90s, something with EMP resistant circuits. See, that sounds like that would make the transition to security engineer. <laughs> Proxmox, ah, old X tanker, good job. <laughs> Pentium, hyper threading, but no ECC anymore. Well, that sucks. What are you supposed to use in i3? Is i3 still support ECC? I haven't checked. Alright, what do we think? What skill do I need? Not one of those, obviously, I guess. I'll go for stealth lane. A six pound bag of imitation crab. Okay, Cameron, that sounds good. Good to hear, Muffalo Slayer. Oh, I was so tempted by the 9350. I really want to sell my Surface Book and get the uh, KB Lake, uh, the new XPS KB Lake, the 15 though, not the 13 and get a Thunderbolt dock, but I it's, I kind of use the crap out of out of my Surface Book. I love the keyboard and the screen. I hate everything else about the machine, but the keyboard and the screen are just, they're so amazing, so amazing. And uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Cannot for the life of me get a stable install of Linux on it. But I love the hardware. The hardware is amazing. Oh, you know what I need? I think I need to upgrade my oil. My oil tankard. Alright, so I need to kill a couple more deer and find a bear. Alright. Laura's not very efficient with hides and, and wax and whatever, I guess. I've got the 16 gig, 512 gig Surface Book, the i7. Phoenix says hi. I-37100, no ECC. Well, that figures. I ordered a 7350K the other day. Like two days ago. I'll probably be here next week. Did I ever test the Razor Core? No. I had to send it back. It was just for demonstration purposes. I wasn't allowed to have my way with the hardware, as it were. Alright, now I need to find a bear. I feel like that's code for something. Where the hell are the bears? What are, what are we guys thinking about the NVIDIA hardware rental? It's a bit pricey. Yeah, it is a little bit pricey. RX 480 causing flickering squares to appear on displays. Nope, I have not heard that. Probably a driver issue. Yeah, I would agree it's a driver issue. Kamoka's here. How's it going?
So where's the bear? It says 82% complete. I don't know how interesting that's going to be. Let's figure it out. Ulfdag! How's it going? So Croft just waltzed in and put a gun to Anna's head. We never saw her coming. Then she detonated one of the chuckles. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna take this guy out. Those, those are always a pain. I was hoping I could do it silently, but I laughed. That won't stop me. I will burn this whole place down. Yeah, flamethrowers. Well, I'll just switch to the shotgun. It's fine. A little loud, but it'll do. Avoid killing the red enemies, but I shot both red enemies at the same time, and I kept the stealth. It was just the uh, the flamethrower guy.
I spent 500 euro on a couple Visa mouse, good display port cables. Yes. You know, I mean, it's like, oh my god, I spent so much money on display mounts for the monitors, but those last like 10 years, so it's fine. Yay. The madman continues on. I found a thing to read. I do not know what drives him. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead. The mayor that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. But I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge. A joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week. And I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him. <laughs> Rats Monkey's like, has there been a video on PGP's hardware? Yes. What? I don't understand. Alan Deaver, so what's that thing I'm eating? It's a piece of chocolate cake. Lineage OS is the renamed Cyanogen, right? Yes, that is correct. Woohoo! Coin cash! 15 coins! Nice! <laughs> Tim CW's like, yeah, yeah, pretty much what you said. I keep looking over this cave, but it was there the whole time. Video on a new and improved streaming PC coming soon, maybe? I don't know. We're still using the one. We thought about using the Rolly Cart computer to do double duty because it's got a lot of horsepower and it might be a better streaming computer. I 
thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of Herod. Mm. Kelmore's here, how's it going? Can't wait for the future Linux content, says Cameron Harold. Well, you're in luck because I've got at least three videos that are completely done and ready to be assembled. Well, two. The third one, 95%. Yeah, let's go with the shot. Damn, that bear took a lot of shotgun shells. Yeah, I did a uh, I did a roadmap video for the Linux channel that's like, hey, this is the crap that I'm working on. I'm gonna show because I had a so I did the sandstorm videos and I got a lot of questions about stuff, and there are a lot of people that are real enthusiastic, but they're not ready for Linode. And um, so I mean, I'll ask you guys because you guys, I feel like you guys will give it to me straight without being, uh, uh, shall we say, overly pedantic. But I think it's a good idea to uh, show people uh, cPanel, WHM and cPanel hosting. So I found a provider that provides a pretty good deal on a VPS that will give you WHM access. We'll give you root access if you ask for it. But we'll give you uh, WHM access. You can run your own cPanel. And uh, it's about 30 bucks a month for uh, 70 gigabytes of storage. But they do the backups for you and they'll restore from backup for you. And they, uh, uh, they, they will do all the, the, you know, nitty gritty when like cPanel goes sideways, they'll cover all that support for free. If you get in over your head, they'll also provide hourly support at a reasonable rate. And so like for people in the audience that just want to upload like, you know, highlights and streams and videos and like their MP3 collection. And it's like their CSGO screenshots or whatever. I feel like that's that's probably not a good deal. But for for people that are like wanting to upload like family photos and have something not in the Google Cloud, I feel like that's probably pretty good. And showing people how to use WHM to set up cPanel and uh, configure hosting, like configure a domain and configure email, I think that that would be a pretty good like two video series. And then I'll circle back to like collab in a Docker container and do that. But on the Windows dev side, I'm doing another video that is like the ultimate sort of Windows dev workstation. 
which is basically just install Linux, but <laughs> but, but install Linux under Windows. And uh, I did a little demo of how to get Docker for Windows to work correctly and bash completion on the command prompt because both of those things are uh, PITA. And uh, and then you can actually do like proper web development on Windows with whatever your editor of choice is, yeah, up to and including Vim. So I figure that's probably pretty good, but I'm a little bit worried about the whole cPanel thing because a lot of people don't really like it, but it's pragmatic. I mean, it's a good pragmatic solution that is relatively low cost and for what cPanel does for you in terms of like automation and in terms of like security and the support that you get it may be worth it depending on your use case what's the RAM and CPU on the 30? Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head but um, the performance of what I've got so far is really really good I would have to go look at it but I remember thinking it's it's comparable to the Linode plan that's forty bucks a month, but it's thirty bucks a month. I, it's about the same CPU and um, CPU and RAM as the forty dollar Linode plan. The cPanel is definitely like a pragmatic option. It's not the perfect solution, but it's not, it's honestly not terrible. Plus you can, you know, your friends that are like, hey, can you set up my blog for me? You can charge them five bucks a month and uh, bring, give them a cPanel account. And you know, they're relegated to a nice little sandbox, but you know, you could totally set up a reseller account. You could totally set up something, you know, the shared access on the box at a different domain name. That's completely fine. So I need to go get this coin cash, and then we're out of here. Can you run a NAS in VR, like virtual reality headset? What? Uh, we've got some more coin caches. What the hell?
<laughs> you flash an HP Smart Array P400 to anything else, and if so, what or where might I look? Are you talking about the controller? Is that a controller or a dish shelf? Like flashing it to the LSI controller that it really is, or flashing it so it doesn't bitch about non-HP discs? ring for a Mongolian archer, allowing them to shoot quickly while still mounted on horseback. This must have belonged to a warrior of some stature. LSI controller. Um, serve the home. The serve the home forums have some guides on that. You can do it from Linux. It's pretty easy to do. Why not Cody and Plex? <laughs> There's a shortage of bears in this game. I don't like how the bears aren't marked on the map, but the elk are. And wolves, and cheetahs, panthers, whatever the hell. All right, 52% complete in this area, Jesus. Uh, I think Cody is more about the front end and Plex is more about the media library organization. I don't really like Cody's UI versus Plex, but I think Cody's more functional, so <laughs> like everything.
Anybody else want some? Raspberry Pi 3 run Plex and like without stuttering. For 1080p H.264, yes, but you start doing more exotic formats than that or anything that's not hardware accelerated, and the answer is not really. Yeah, a map of all the shit. I haven't tested kernel 4.9 yet. That's good to know that the GPU pass-through works well.
Yeah, yay, more weapon parts. Bother! I figured out why sudo did not work. Not installed by default in the version of Debian that I got. What? What? Well, wait. Yeah, that makes sense. Grey Monk, you probably would be better off starting with um, Corora or. Is probably your best bet right now. Although, Elementary OS just came out with a new version and it's not bad. Too late, I got the one program I wanted to work working, so I'm gonna stick with Debian. Well that's that's cool. Are you on Debian testing or stable? Because testing is not terrible. My problem with the elementary OS is they go too long between updates, or at least they did between the most recent update and the update before that.
Well, that didn't work out quite the way that I planned. Oh, I guess I can't cut that down anyway. I was trying to find a way to get up there so I can cut the flag down, but... Guess you can't do that here, even though you can do that in other parts of the game. There's gotta be something over here. It's just gotta. I should totally be able to jump up there. Well, I guess there's nothing up here. Yeah, backpack! Secrets revealed. I died again. Yeah, document. Got up close this time. Figured.
Made back to camp. <laughs> I died. We'll see if I can buy crap from the random guy with the gold coins. Or the guy that wants the gold coins. Phoenix, time to go to bed. Goodbye. See you, Phoenix. Super user 64 is here. How's it going? Have I played the Stalker game series? I have not. Oh, apparently I didn't click yes properly. Oh, to not be loading games from spinning rust. <laughs> ah, the day that we'll be able to afford four terabyte SSDs. <laughs> yeah, Kilmore's right. I've, I'm dead inside. It's like I'm already... We'll go... Toward the end of the stream, we'll go beat the game together. Which probably will be at like around 9.30. Probably in like in, uh, 45 minutes. But for now, I want to see if I can upgrade a refinement tool or whatever. See if I can upgrade my weapons a little bit more. I want to do a mountain vista. Why are most SSDs two and a half instead of three and a half? Because it's easy to manufacture. You don't need the room. That was the campsite near the coin cache, right?
Yeah, coin cash. Please be 15 coins. Well, that's good. See, I, I needed, I had 145, I needed 175, so that's got me to what, 160? Alright, I need another 15. Ooh, I like the sound of this. Zero of three coin caches. This game really feels like it was uh, pay to win. <laughs> and you could just buy all this shit from the get-go. But if it was already $70 or $60, it was just been like, eh. Yet, uh, for SATA SSDs, some SATA SSDs you open up and it's actually like an M.2 form factor or some other form factor inside the 2.5 inch carrier. The church in the West has sent their messengers, self-proclaimed soldiers of God, the Knights of the Order of Trinity. They have come to silence the prophet. To wow, that's a good deal on SSDs. And eradicate our movement. But it is too late now. We will not be silenced. Violence erupts in the forum on a daily basis. The prophet knows that we cannot stand against them. So we must leave Constantinople. We will go to the desert to build anew and continue the prophet.
Someone's here. There, open up. I hate those fire guys. Max CFM, how's it going? Uh, it's a solo stream tonight, so it's not very interesting. Good night, Woofer. Thanks for hanging out. Where are the coin cat? <laughs> Intel? No, there's no. Intel. I'm not on Intel's radar.
Trina, those were vendors, not intel. Alright, based on how far I've fallen in the past, it totally looks like I can jump down there. But nope, I can't. Guess I'll fast travel to the other campsite. This must be where the coin caches are. Banana! No Earl Grey or Eminemus today? Nah. I had chocolate cake. Aha. That thing tells Coin caches are okay, okay.
soldier's flag to be hung from a spear. This must have belonged to the Prophet's army. Super 64 says, game looks gorgeous, does it run well? Yes, it is a fluid smooth 60 FPS. See, I kind of want to run along this ledge. It's not going to let me, but I really think that I should be able to. See? Totally wouldn't like. Uh, do I have any projects planned with the new Intel Nix? Nux. No, not Nux. Nix, yes. Nux, no. What's my favorite form factor to work with for workstations? I can't tell you how happy I am with uh, how that um, Corsair 780T with the dual 2670s turned out. Uh, I did I did splurge a little bit and get some new, uh, some new Cooler Master uh, Hyper 212s for the uh, Xeons. That thing is whisper quiet. And oh my god, the horsepower, it's intoxicating. Oh yeah, I'll just spin up 17 virtual machines, no problem. Although I gave up my SSD, my NVMe, my Intel NVMe SSD, I gave it up to uh, put in the um, level 1 storage server so that we could have a really fast and very reliable um, ARC cache thingy. I also did some experiments, had some 1.2 terabyte NVMEs for a, uh, a different project, a paid project. Nothing to do with level 1, I just was like, oh yeah, let me play with those. And uh, experimented with using two NVMEs, two 1.2 terabyte NVMEs, slicing off 100 gigs off of them for the, uh, for the slogs, for the ZFS slogs, and then using the rest for L2 arc, but those disk shelves are so fast that it was unnecessary. I mean, for, for video sharing workload, random I.O., Video archive, random IO is not really a thing, so the L2 arc really didn't make much of a difference. I like how it's not letting me crawl back through here anymore. Seems like a bug. get up there somehow. That seems weird. I should be able to go back that way, I would think.
How much RAM? Damn it. Oh my god, I finally figured it out. I'm an idiot. I can read this now. And it's pointing somewhere. Bother. We have sealed the doors and barred them from entry. The riders are coming, and I must keep these. Let's go to my campy camp. Where's my
I heard we located the objective. Yeah, I've heard the same. Is that the truth? The Heads up. Paid off. Saw some. Anna thinks she's gonna lead us straight to the Intruder! <laughs> Moving into cover! Got your back! <laughs> Advancing to cover. It smells like leathery burnt bacon in here. Now, I would have sworn that I did a mission, and the mission was like, or a challenge or something, and it was like, oh, you get the refinement tool. So before I waste all my coins, I'm going to save. Because I think that might have been a bug. Ooh, that's tempting for the damage. I don't know, what do you guys think? Alright, got the upgraded bow, whatever. It's a very interesting problem, Kelmore. Um, the host tends to freeze. No kernel panic or anything. All right, what I want you to do is compile the kernel, and there's a there's a there's a kernel option that's like a system request, and system request <laughs> runs in like ring zero, and you can when that happens, you can hit the system request key on your keyboard, and you will be able to type commands in to make it debug or make it do whatever. And so it sounds like a pain in the ass, but it's actually not quite a, a terrible pain in the ass. But you need to compile your kernel and enable that option. And then when you do system request, you can see what the hell's going on or save a snapshot of memory or whatever, which will help troubleshoot it.
Do you have an overclock, Kelmore? I wonder if the compression is trying to use, like... It's trying to use something. And also, have you updated your UEFI? Because shit like that can update your UEFI. Upgrade tier four. Been unlocked tier four. None of those things increase damage, so I don't care. Alright, let's beat this thing! <laughs> Spoiler alert, if you don't want to see the ending of what you call it, then don't, whatever. Oh, are you saying that it hangs because it's uh, resource starvation and not like, like a like a real, like honest to god like super hang? Chris dude. Alright, see you, Chris dude. It's fine. Alright. Here we go. I forgot what you have to do. Let's see.
Oh, I guess you can't beat it again. Huh. Shit. Well, crap. I think this is it. I think, you see, uh... Okay, oh. That was a mistake. That was an oops. See, I think you get to the camp over here. And then it's like, are you sure? And then you continue on. And you go around and up. But the gap is too much now because the event already happened. So you like go up and over and up the staircase and into the gold thing and then some stuff happens in so I think because I already beat it it's done so I guess I'm out of here yeah see you Sunday I think we're gonna play more Civ on Sunday so that'll be good right I should have played Factorio we can go through outfits See what uh, what outfits have I unlocked? This is so lame. Infiltrator. Leather jacket. Tech top. Expedition jacket. I can make new outfits. Yeah, I don't care about that. Outfit bonus reduces damage taken from Greek fire. Yeah, seems reasonable. All right, well that's Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, I completed it. It should be fine. <laughs> out of here. Kelmore, if you want some more help with your thing, I'll be on the forums tomorrow, probably. Um, because it sounds interesting. I'm not sure off the top of my head, other than fiddling around with nice. Uh, NFS has, reaches into the kernel, though. Is the only thing. I wonder if that's related. Does it do it if you do two cores instead of three cores, like two and two? I know that, like, with GTA 5, two cores may not be enough for GTA 5. I don't know. And Sunday we'll be unboxing Dark Star and Weimariner's stuff, so that's going to be neat. Alright, good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. See ya!